Hey guys, Niter here. Gotta be a little quiet for once. Cause it's kinda late when I'm recording this. I'm here to bring my team builder of week one of the Pokemon for Glory versus Dyramore and the Paris Polytoads. My um yeah. My draft came my draft analysis is already up, so if you wanna see why I took everything, go watch that. <laughs> But as you can see here, for week one, we bring Volcanion, also known as Thanatos, <laughs> running Assault Vest, Water Absorb, Steam Eruption, Flamethrower, Sludge Bomb, and Earth Power, as it covers most of his team. And as Eevees and Ivies, we got. Mm, I actually have to scroll a bit, this a bit down. Why is it showing it that way? Okay, does that make any sense to me? No. It seems uh, I'm having a little problem with this. <laughs> what? I'm actually going to zoom out. That's how much I care. A little spoiler for now on. <laughs> well, no point showing these then. Because <laughs> apparently Smogon is being a little whiny today. It seems Smogon's a little whiny. <laughs> or walking uh, 228 in HP. Because I need it. You know, Volcano doesn't really have the best HP stat. Or running Calm Nature. Because, well, don't really see myself using physical Volcanion very much. If I do, it would probably be whole, it would probably just be randomly gimmicky. I have Max, uh, I have Max IVs in the front. Not running any in defense. I'm running 188 in special attack because I want to do a bit more damage. And I'm running 92 with the calm nature, with the assault vest on special defense because you know I want to make sure I live like an earth power. Because <laughs> you know it's not very fun getting hit by those because Volcano okay, doesn't like getting hit by those. Out of that, we got our girl Athena, <laughs> also known as Mega Gardevoir, also known as Destroyer. <laughs> Destroyer of Souls, working with Hyper Voice, Shadow Ball, Energy Ball, and Calm Mind. I'm also running, you know, standard synchronize before even Mega Balls, so in case we get the chance of Prankster, <laughs> in case we get the chance of going right in front of a Prankster Sableye, we can just, you know, use that to our advantage. I'm running Bold, just so I can somewhat live a defense, uh, defensive attack. I put 220 with Bold. In defense, 148 in attack, and 140, well, 140 in special attack, and 140 in, in speed, because I actually, is it's one of my fastest things, and I kind of, and I somewhat need speed on my team, but, you know, this mod's very gimmicky, so I'll probably run different sets every week. <laughs> okay, number three, Venomoth, Hades. <laughs> Running that Blood Sludge, Tinted Lens, Baton Pass, Square Dance set. <laughs> this is not usually set to usually. It's not usually a set you usually see because most of the ones you see are like Quiver, Quiver Dance and uh, Quiver Dance to like at least plus one, plus two, then just try to sweep. <laughs> that usually doesn't work because <laughs> honestly, unless you're doing like really low tier mons, it's, that's the only time Venomut can usually sweep because it will never almost sweep anything in OU. I'm running that calm, 252, 96, 160 EVs, because I, because honestly, when I look at this thing, if I can, but if I could baton pass into anything, like, example, my Volcanion right now, half of, half of the Polytoads team is, half the Polytoads team is dead. <laughs> honestly, I did, I did some calcs, almost everything gets one shot, except, I believe, an Umbreon that they have. So that's good. <laughs> that's good right away. Next thing we got, Zeus. <laughs> also known as Thunderous T, covering my some of my weaknesses. <laughs> I believe they had. I don't exactly remember what the Paris Polytoads have, but I do remember I prepared for it. I had this somewhat set up a bit earlier. <laughs> I just didn't get the chance to record because I had people. I had people over, so you know, pretty much running a standard set with. Bolt Switch, Thunderbolt, Flash Cannon, and Dark Pulse. 
this is pretty much a standard, well, small gun set, except, you know, it's, I added the four in special defense instead of HP. So not much to tell about this one. This little, this is a little gimmicky Gary, Metagross, I, this is one I'm, this one I actually most proud of. Give me your Gyarados with Bully Punch, Earthquake, Stealth Rocks, and Trick. The trick is in case he brings the Umbreon, because so most of, a good part of my team is either weak to Dark or weak to Crap or weak to Fire, and he doesn't have much things. That, he doesn't have much Fire on his team, or but he does have, a, I think, one or two Dark types. I know he has Ice types, but you know, there's no point bringing an Ice type if I bring Volcanion or Metagross, because I'll be eating those for days. Honestly, the Toxic Orb is for anything that's like he doesn't get anything with guts, but it's like it's for anything that's like very stally <laughs> and has lefties. So like I could probably steal someone's lefties and make them get poison salt to death. <laughs> this thing is very bulky. It's 252 in HP, 130 in defense, and 126 in special defense with the careful nature. This thing will be eating up hits for quite a bit. <laughs> the last thing, our monster. Papa Bear, since I know the Paris Polytoons do not have a fire, do not have a fairy type, this actually goes into my advantage. I'm running Circle Throw because mainly keen for Stealth Rock damage. I want, I was thinking about running T Spikes, but I'm like, eh, uh, iffy option. <laughs> like, I might run T Spikes, or I might add T Spikes after or not, I'm not 100% sure. But if I do, I'll let you guys know during the battle that I switched it. But this Pangar, also known as Papa Bear, has Assault Vest, Mold Breaker, Circle Throw, Drain Punch, Knock Off, and Ice Punch. Honestly, because I, <laughs> main reason I, main reason I got this thing was to, you know, in case some, a lot, some people didn't get Fairy types and some of them did not, which actually works in my advantage. <laughs> so I'm running it 236 in HP, 108 in Attack, plus the Impish nature. With 36 in special defense and 128 in speed. I'm just, I was doing, doing a bit of speed creeping because a lot of mods also don't have speed. Like, I just put a bit more, I just put a tad more in speed just so I can speed creep a bit. <laughs> so that's a little more fun. Because <laughs> what's fun with, because what's an Umbreon to a, to a circle throw, to a circle throw stealth rocks freaking Pangoro because that's just bloody hilarious. <laughs> Like, you don't get a turn, you don't get a turn, you don't get a turn. This Pangirl is just going to be freaking hilarious with the trolls. Um, I don't really have the Politoads team, but what I'm expecting, I'm definitely expecting... Um, in fact, I, actually, I can actually open up their team and see what they have right here. First, I'll have to move this window. <laughs> just so I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Oh, be a very brief moment. I, 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 I'm somewhat expecting the Umbreon. Okay, this is also the vision. This is also a division match. We're actually in the per. We're actually in the Diamond Division, so I have to battle him. He's our first contender out of the one of the th one of the three people I actually see in my own division. The other people be the other per the other two being. Uh, Genpai of the Golden State Go Goats, God bless her. <laughs> and Chance with <laughs> Chance of the Cam Camden Nurserings, which I don't battle for a long while. Okay, he has Manaphy, which Volcanion Walls, Mama Swine, which pretty much <laughs> Volcanion Walls again, Umbreon, which doesn't do very much, Darmanitan, Volcanion Walls, Verizian. I am expecting that because a good chunk of my team is weak to that. Oh, I think there is a trade here. <laughs> or is it an error? I don't know. It says they have Flygon, but I don't remember them taking Flygon. I remember Jodor getting Flygon. I'm pretty sure it's an error here. <laughs> um, yeah, you have Mega Chomp, which has a giant ice weakness, which I don't really have. I, I don't have an ice Pokemon. But I do have my Gardevoir for Moonblast, so that's pretty good. We have Mew. I'm expecting that Mew. Klefki. Claydol, but that's their, Claydol is their only spinner. I'm not sure if that Flygon thing is confirmed. I'll check that after the video. 
and rode a mo. Okay, the things I definitely see coming are the Mew, the Umbreon, the Virizion, possibly the Mega Chomp, the Clay Doll. I could possibly see the Klefki for Prankster. Other than that, I can't see anything else happening. But pretty much my team covers almost all of them. Like, the, yes, he has a fairy, but his fairy is slow and it, it would have to take a turn to set up Moonblast. And not to also mention, I could just switch into I could just switch in Fetus here and just Earthquake, and his team would die. <laughs> it's almost the only thing that has ground immunity, I believe, is his Clay Doll, which is not good on his end. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for now. Hope to see you guys in the Week One match. <laughs> Says go Montreal Explodes, because we're lit and we're also and also hashtag Boom Burst. I didn't, I didn't bring Explode this week, but I probably will bring it next week or the week after, because, you know, it's Explode and Boom Burst. <laughs> so, yeah, stay tuned for that, and peace. <laughs>